Uh, so I'm ready to weld on my brackets and do my final cuts. I uh, just wanted to talk to you about my bracket system and what we're doing. So I've got the one inch square tubing and the hinges welded to all these now. I'm going to take these over some all threads. Was this five eighths all threads? Five eighths all thread. Um, take it down. I got a couple of nuts and a couple washers in between. So once I have it welded on and I turn these nuts, it's going to help lift up once I get everything cut. So I'm just gonna weld these on to my final pieces before I cut them off. And I'm gonna do that. Part of my process is I'm gonna be welding these hinges onto some tubing so I can lift up the bus. And first I need to separate the hinges. What I'm gonna do is take, there's a pin that goes through in these particular heavy duty uh, steel hinges. Uh, there's no way to take these pins out without grinding off the ends. So I'm gonna use this six inch bench grinder here to weld off the ends so that I can separate these and then I'll show you what I'm doing after that. Okay, I've got that ground off, now I can push that pin out. All right, now that I got the end taken off of this, I can use a simple punch and a hammer and knock the pin out in the middle. Once I get it loose, I can just pull it right out. So it wanted to get stuck a little bit, but with a little bit of convincing, it comes right out. That's done. Now I've got my two pieces. All right, so now that I have the hinge separated, I'm gonna be putting it onto these square tubing here, and I wanna maximize the amount of space I have in between the edge of this hinge and that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clamp it into my clamp so that I can smash it down and make it flat, which again will give me the most amount of room here for whenever I weld all this together and start putting it onto the bus. So I'm gonna smash this down now. Okay. Yeah. All right, so I'm getting ready to weld the, the square tubing onto the bracket. I've got it all clamped down. I've got my ground and all set up. My welder's not on yet. I'll turn that on in just a second. But I just wanted to talk a couple things about uh, welding safety. If you've never welded before, or if you're having done a lot with welding, make sure you watch some videos and, and get some good safety information on it. Uh, you want to make sure, I would say, wear some FR equipment or at least 100% cotton so that you don't spark or get any flames. The, the little sparks and stuff that are coming off of this are, are pretty hot. So I've got, actually got two long sleeve layers on that are both FR. That way uh, I'm not feeling it hitting me in the arm and, and hurting me there as I'm going. Uh, leather gloves to keep you uh, safe from the current, also from the heat. Uh, and then make sure you've got an adequate safety shield to protect your eyes as you're going. Um, I got pants and boots on as well just so none of the sparks are flying down on my leg or anything like that. And then uh, make sure when you're using your, your welding rod, uh, I'm using a 6013 uh, which is a good general purpose welding rod. Um, I can use AC or DC current with it. Make sure depending on your welder and the rod that you have that they match if you're using DC or AC. Again if you don't know watch some video and uh, I'm using a pretty small welding rod. Again, I'm not too proficient with it. This gives me a little more control without producing too much heat uh, down there at the weld and, and I can still control this. So I'm using a 1 16th rod instead of some of the more popular options. But I'm gonna go ahead and weld this up and show you how it goes.
my oh sorry like <laughs> <laughs> did I do that? I was all ready to go. Go. Go where? Speak. Is it recording? Yeah. I didn't hear you go beep beep. <laughs> <clears throat> what am I saying? All right, so make sure you're clicking subscribe. We got a lot of videos coming up, some catch up videos that, we're, that we have coming out. So subscribe, watch our videos, check them out, see what you think.